sports fans, the fate of the upcoming hockey season rests in the hands of one world-famous super scout, Slapshot's Medley, who has never failed to discover the newest hockey sensation, headed off to frigid Antarctica today in search of new talent that fans hope will rejuvenate the troubled sport. World famous hockey scout, Slapshot Smedley, and I just love discovering new hockey players. Yep, you get me a boy with raw talent, and I'll train him to be tomorrow's hockey superstar today. Well, I'll be. Here I come all the way to the frigid Antarctic to find a hot new prospect, and he goes and finds me. You're some skater, boy, but you gotta learn how to use a door. I've never seen a hot prospect yet who can resist Slapshot Smedley's special signing bonus. <laughs> Small fry, you're the property of the International World Hockey League, and I show now. So listen up, my reputation's on the line, and before I auction your hockey services off to the highest bidder, I want to make sure we smooth off all your rough edges if you catch my drift. He may be fast, but he ain't the sharpest blade on the ice. First thing you need to do is test your speed and maneuverability. Let's see how fast you can skate around all those little old hockey sticks. Young hot shots come and go, but the stopwatch never lies. Now what is he? On the other hand, speed can be a tad overrated. You new prospects are all alike. You want the fame and the big money and the trading card with your picture on it, but you don't want to work for it. Well, Slapshot Smedley knows how to deal with the likes of you. Now this here drill is to test your face-off skills. Super Scout Slapshot Smedley is about to learn you one big time hockey move. That's how the seasoned pros do it. Go on, son. Don't be intimidated just because you saw the best in the business do it first. Give it your best shot. You gotta build the new one's confidence a smidge at first. Now I know why they call it a face-off. This boy sure better bring in the crowds, cause something tells me he's gonna cost us a fortune in sticks. Okay, little fella, time to find out about your goaltending skills with a little help from the latest technology in Hockey Scout. You're supposed to bat him out of the way. Oh, let me show you. Fire that puck chucker up, boy. It's all in the rest action. Oh, sure. I had to find the only hockey player in the world who's more interested in sticks than money. Something tells me you're gonna be a natural for a barbecue endorsement. But you gotta play some hockey first. I know just how to tame this pesky little prima donna. Say there, boy, how's about we work on your body checking skills? I'm gonna check this boy so hard his whole family's gonna feel it. 
That'll get his mind in this game for certain. <laughs> season sure could use a new player if the sport is to be saved. Let's just hope that Slapshot Smedley can come up with one. That does it. I've had it with you, you no-talent, unathletic supporter, you. I'm through with today's prima donna athletes. I'm going back to scouting girls high school volleyball. Stay away from me forever, penguin. Oh, too bad. For the first time in his legendary career, Slapshot Smedley has failed to discover a new hockey sensation. And so, I'm afraid, this entire season is being canceled due to lack of interest, folks. But in its place, we bring you the world's best-loved campfire songs. I really must move to a more civilized climate. Oh, just so, old chap. What you need is a proper feast of veggies and tapioca pudding. One ice rutabaga, some snowball Brussels sprouts, and some nice icicle carrots. Bravo! A positively brilliant meal. Satisfied now, old boy? Oh, no! We aren't hungry anymore, old boy. There can be no boiled ham if we are to be proper vegetarians. <laughs> Nor the hot dog. It, too, is a meat byproduct. I will have no more of your carnivorous charade shenanigans. Hmm. Perhaps a good snooze will get your mind back in order. Ah, <laughs> the nice warm smell of... No, it can't be, but it is a succulent stuffed squab. <laughs> no! Oh dear, I really can't go back to my old ways. The life of a carnivore is so detestable. I will not touch the squab. All animal life is precious to me. However, one cannot completely deny one's weaknesses. I wouldn't... Hmm, not bad. Young, nice, playful yet delicate. Tastes of cinnamon, blueberries, and just a hint of... of... Ah, yes, smoked salmon, of course. My finicky feasting must not be fouled by that frigid fowl. Look. 
This is you. This is me. And being a civilized vegetarian, I nonetheless have all the natural urges of my forefathers. The most primal of all these urges is to consume meat products. And so, my dear Jeeves, you being just such a bully meat product yourself, should therefore vamoose. Understand? The dear boy undoubtedly took the hint. After all, you can't argue with logic. Sorry, lad, but I must take drastic measures. Where to, Mac? Uh, the lad would like to go to the North Pole to see Santa Claus. Okay, Mac, load him up. And now, back to my nap. Jolly bad luck. Now look here, Jeeves. You, you can't just bully well go around behaving with such willy minded duckiness. <coughs> <coughs> This is the last straw. I am leaving now, and you will bully well stay here. Do you comprehend? <laughs> oh, what now, old boy? A tropical island? I say, we are due for a vacation, aren't we? And bananas are quite lovely this time of year. To the islands, then! Oh, don't tell me you've grown attached to the diminutive squab now, have you? <laughs> oh, I suppose we could take this little fellow along. You'd finally leave me alone if I took you someplace warm and cosy? <laughs> All right, then it's settled. We'll have a smashing good time. Oh, I'll make us all banana splits, banana pudding, ooh, banana pie, bananas flaming. Sergeant, I have good news. You'll be receiving your first recruit today. Sir, thank you, sir! I trust you'll be on guard at all times. Sir, I will, sir! Nothing will get by me. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> yep, barracks are all squared away and... Hmm? What's this? Hmm, what do we have here? A pint-sized private. Hmm, must be the new recruit. A lazy recruit! <laughs> this ain't no summer camp! Ten! What? Hmm, you're a snappy dresser. But where's your uniform, little buddy? No uniform? There we go, all field dressed and ready for action. So, get on the field. Now! Move it, move it, move it! There. Only working soldiers get into the barracks now. And I can't think of a better task than digging foxholes. It's a fundamental 
of core training. So, start digging fuck hole. That boy's gonna do me proud. Solid digging. Good dirt placement? This is more of a tunnel than a foxhole. Wait a minute. You slacker! You're gonna be a hard case, I can tell. And the only way to break a hard case is with hard work. Now put on your pack and march, soldier! You need to learn discipline. So, you can't leave this area until you do this. <laughs> Get a little more interesting for you. Come on, son. Show me what you got. Hmm. Way to be innovative, soldier. Smells like the mess hall's cooking up something good today. I do not have to take this. I outrank him. You say that, soldier. Looks like a snowball, right? Well, it ain't. This is the core sacred weapon. The Skeeter Bomb. You turn this down, and ten seconds later, boom! A cloud of mosquitoes breaks out. It's the last thing the enemy would expect down here in the cold Antarctic. Skeeters. Now for a little target practice. Annihilate the targets on the firing range. This is what the core is all about. No, 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 you missed the target entirely. Yo, hit the bunker. Oh. Ah, it's coming! Skeeter! <laughs> Skeeter! <laughs> You're coming with me to a place where sleeping is not an option, soldier. I am going to personally make sure you do this exercise correctly. You'll be in my sight the whole time, cause you're jumping with me. Another two miles, and we jump! Wait! What are you waiting for? Pull the car, soldier! I said pull the car! You want to sleep, huh? You'll never sleep under my command again, soldier, because there'll be nowhere left to sleep. <laughs> I got you. I win. I win. I win. <laughs> Sergeant Hogwash, what is the meaning of this? Be my skis. Okay. I just saw I blow up the base, sir. You what? Guards? No more sleeping and no more nothing. Base kaboom. Oh, kablooey. Kablooey. <laughs> For withstanding that pig's command, I'm promoting you to base drill sergeant. I commend you on your bravery, soldier. Carry on, soldier. <sighs> New recruit, P-Bear, reporting for duty, Sarge. What are my orders of the day? <laughs> yes, sir, sir. Uh, right away, sir.
Good afternoon, sports fans, and welcome to the opening of the Antarctic Games, sponsored by Mama Dulap's Old Fashioned Chocolate. The chocolate preferred by four out of five hungry penguins. Mama Dulap invites you to join us at the extreme sporting event of the century. We guarantee plenty of excitement, food, thrills, food, and most of all, food. Tickets go on sale, well, right now. Mm-mm. I just love being the official head of security for these here Antarctic Games. I'm sworn to keep all riffraff off of these premises. Hmm, what have we here? It looks like I've corralled me a penguin of the gate-crashing persuasion. Well, I'm escorting you from the premises. Guard rule number one. Always be leery of the tuxedo wearers. Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> hmm. This here ice is mighty cold on the lower lumbar. Wee 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 wee! You pull over now, so as I can under arrest you. It looks like we have a couple of late entries in the ice skating competition, ladies and gentlemen. What style that big fella has. What a left hook that little fella has. <laughs> now I got you, you little ow! That smart. <laughs> that smart Alec bird is definitely skating on your proverbial thin ice. <laughs> but there ain't a penguin alive who can outsmart a minimum wage security officer. Except maybe this one. What an amazing performance! We have a new gold medal winner! And now, in the Mama Dulap's Antarctic Games tradition, the winner of every event gets a meal at the Table of Champions. <laughs> No gate crasher is gonna be outsmarting me. Hmm, needs a tad more salt. Hold on one ice picking minute. This is the law of talking. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but water will not hurt me. Unless it has been modified to solid form. Hold it where you are! They ain't a gate crasher alive who can get away from me. <laughs> what style? What a landing! That'll probably cause what we in the guard business call a boo-boo. You know what? My boo-boo smarts. What an amazing run! This surprise contestant has won his second event of the game. And he's wasting no time heading to the table of champions to celebrate. All right, gate crasher, hand over that drumstick. Ouch! Take the lead in the 100-mile ice gliding race. All right, you pull over. Huh? <laughs> that there is the oldest trick in the book. Yep, sometimes it takes a while, but I always prove I'm twice as smart as everyone says I think I am. <laughs> You know, 
You don't see these great white polar sharks very often. We're 50 miles into the race, and Chili's still in first place. We're less than 100 yards from the finish line, and it's still anyone's race. When I catch this law-breaking icebreaker, he's going to chill in the cooler for a long while. Let's hear us what we in the business call a hot pursuit. They don't get any hotter than this. Amazing! Chili has won three gold medals in one day. And now he's enjoying his third meal at the Table of Champions. I did my job. I may be tired, but it's a good kind of tired. Well, the Antarctic Games may be over, but you can enjoy Mama Dulap's old-fashioned chocolate all year long. Remember, it's a gold medal treat.